Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome to our first ever vlog of Sim Racer to Real Racer. Here we are with a race car. You guys haven't seen it as yet, but um, here it is. So I'll um, give you guys a quick look around. So obviously, come back out of the garage a little bit. So VS Commodore, street stock. So just ignore the mess all over the car. I've been working on it a fair bit. So I'm gonna have my name going across the front here. Um, you can see We've got um, my daughter's name, Lillian, my nephew, Oliver. I've got Belinda and Daryl Ashlyn. Corey has no life, who's sponsor um, and subscriber, YouTube, and Noah as well. So Belinda and Daryl Ashlyn did send through $100 a long, long time ago for me to be able to purchase a race car and sent through a lot of race gear. So that's why they're up there. But if you guys want your name on the roof of the car as well, it's... Uh, Donate $10 to the channel, the link will be in the description, and um, leave in the description what you want written on the roof, and um, we'll get it put up there, but here's the inside, ignore the mess as well, um, been doing a whole heap of work trying to wire up switches and that sort of stuff, so you can see you've got the taco there, we'll have um, oil pressure and water temp gauge, if I can just reach in and grab the switch panel. Yeah. This will be the uh, switch panel we're using, so we'll have the ignition on and off on the left hand side, the push start button to start the engine, we'll have our fuel pump, our fan and our computer all hooked up, so we'll flick all them up to get all them running as well. So hopefully that'll be in um, today sometime. Go through, we've got our battery and our radiator just behind the driver's seat to the left. But my seat here, which I'm going to have to move back because my... Uh, my knees hit the steering wheel when the steering wheel is actually in there. It's a bit of a pain. So I'll come back through, see the roll cage, the radiator through there. I'm going to have to run some wiring through, through here, probably under the radiator, and then through the back, through here to our fuel cell. Ignore the mess in the garage as well. We've still got junk everywhere. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, so we've got the fuel cell in the boot. I'm waiting on a VL external pump to run um, this line here to the external pump and then to run through to the engine. This is our return line um, and our breather over the other side. So it's pretty pretty well stripped out. It's all ready to go. We're just um, waiting on a few more parts to get a running and that sort of thing. So we've got our purple net here, uh, waiting on some new purple seat belts as well to match obviously the color of the car. Um, I've got five sets of stockies or rims. Um, that I've got at the local tyre place at the moment and they're going to take the tyres off I'm going to bring them home, undercoat them and um, paint them purple to match the car so I'll um, quickly show you guys the engine just have to put in my uh, special bag here to hold it up or nothing done so here's the engine, just a, a stock standard I guess, I'm not sure if this class is a Buick motor, but it's an Ecotec V6. Everything's pretty well been wired up and ready to go. Um, just a few things need to be done. Got the lines here to the taco, which I need to get done. I need to replace the water pump. The water pump's got a crack behind um, behind the, the pulley here, which is why it's cooled all over the ground, because there's a bloody crack in it, which is a pain. Just to pick up the power steering line, move that to there. This is just the... Um, the heater hose so that just goes back on itself these guys go through the radiator into into the back behind the driver's side there um so there's not a lot that i can really show you guys at the moment it's not running yet unfortunately but um hopefully if i can get that water pump um today the next couple of days and the fuel pump as well i'll have that in finish all this wiring today hopefully and then we'll be able to um move on Move on to getting the car started, getting it out, getting some good photos of it and still chasing some sponsors. So if you guys um, know of anybody in the New South Wales, Sydney, Newcastle area that would like to sponsor a race car, um, let me know or let them know and they can um, contact me directly. Even, um, I'm not asking for money, maybe just like um, product sponsorship, that sort of thing. But yeah, this is the baby at the moment. Obviously there's a few things I'm gonna have to touch up a few marks along here which I'm going to have to repaint. Um, not that it's going to matter too much once we get out and track, but I want to go over and touch all this back up, 
if there's all purple paint coming off here, I might get all that sanded back, re-undercoat, spray that purple. Um, come through the front here, this isn't sprayed as yet, so the plan will be to undercoat that and um, spray the headlights purple there. And then, as I said, the rims, they'll come through or undercoat those, spray those purple as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys um, like the idea of me doing vlogs. Um, I'm going to do a bit of wiring now, so I might um, sit the GoPro over on the dash over here somewhere and, um, I don't know, maybe fast forward a few minutes of me just fiddling around, trying to know what I'm, work out what I'm doing, because literally I've never never really wired anything in my life. So I'm giving it a crack. Everything seems to be working fine at the moment. So, yeah, but hopefully you guys like the idea of, um, as I said, me doing vlogs. If you do, as always, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know what you guys want to see. Once I get started, obviously, I'll show you guys that. Once I put the new rims on, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Um, when I go to add like the stickers, my numbers on the side, I don't know what number I'm going to run yet. I've still got to wait for a list of numbers that are available. We can't run triple seven, unfortunately. But um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to, as I said, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what else you want to see. And if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Hopefully we'll be out on track September 15th and um, we'll be able to get some in-car footage and before and after race and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I'll jump in and I'll do some work and show you guys what I'm doing.